Hi, Professor Smith here, and I wanted to go over some TVM or time value of money applications with you. Using your TI 83 or 84 or Casio 9000 series calculators. First thing I want you to do is to be able to access the TVM solver. So on the Texas Instruments, press the Apps button and then enter two times and you will get a screen that has these values on it. On the Casio, press the gray menu button and the LN button to access the TVM solver and then press the F2 key. So everybody should have a screen that has NI% PV, PMT, FVPY, CY. And a brief explanation of these is as follows. N represents the total number of payments. This is found by taking the number of payments per year times the time in years. Typically, we make payments monthly, so this number of payments per year will be represented by the number of 12. And it's also important to note that this factor of 12, for example, for monthly payments, times the time in years, it goes in N. The 12 also goes down here in our PY, which represents payments per year, and is always the same as the compoundment per year, or the number of compounding periods per year. The next variable on our list is the I percent, or interest percent. You do not have to convert this to the decimal equivalent. You should be using an annual percentage rate here. PV represents present value, or principal. This is a one-time only deposit or withdraw, and you could think of it as occurring today. The next value, PMT, is the payment. This is a regularly occurring or periodic payment, so it happens more than once, which if we're talking about a one-time only thing, that would be the principal or present value. FV represents future value. And I already discussed our PYCY. So I have an example here to find the future value of $1,000 invested for 10 years at 8% interest with four different levels of compoundment, annually, semi-annually, quarterly, and daily. So I have borrowed what the author wrote for each of these, showing you the number of compoundments per year for annual, semi-annual, quarterly, and daily compoundments. Please note for daily they have us using 360 days per year which follows the banker's rule. But I don't teach the formula way to do this. I teach the TVM solver way to do this. So I have shown here if we had annual compoundments our n would be 1 times 10 I percent is 8, PV is 1,000, PMT and FV are unknown values, so we put 0 in to hold those places. And the PY and CY are both 1 for annual compoundments. So if you would, take a minute and enter those values into your calculator. And once you have them all entered, we are trying to find the future value. So if you have a Casio, put your cursor next to the FV and press the green alpha button and then the enter key. And you should get $2,158.92. To solve for the future value on the Casio calculator, I believe F4 corresponds to FV. So if you press that, you should get negative $2,158.92. Actually, we don't ever copy the negative. Just remember to replace that with a dollar sign and round to the nearest cent. For semi-annual compoundments, the only thing that changes in my TVM solver is the N, which is now 20, two times a year for 10 years. And so the PYCY will also change to 2 because of semi-annual compoundments. We again go back to solve for future value, and we get the same thing this way as if we were to use the formula as shown in method 1, which comes out to be... $2,191.12. Moving on to part C, quarterly compoundments is four times a year. 
So our n changes to 4 times 10, which is 40, and the py dy changes to 4. Everything else remains constant. When I resolve for my future value, I now have $2,208.04. And by the way, I'm not typing these in because all the answers were previously given in method one. So finally, for daily compoundment, I know what answer I'm looking for, but really the intention of this exercise, besides to get you familiar and comfortable with using the TVM solver, is to show you that as the frequency of compounding increases, so does the future value of the investment. So finally, daily compoundment for a total of 3,600 compounding periods. Everything else except for the PYCY remaining constant, and the PYCY, of course, become 360. And when I solve, I do indeed get $2,225.34. Moving right along without any delay, I have the future value of continuously compounded interest. I refer to this as the PERT formula because that's what it spells. You should be familiar with the location of the e to the exponent power on your calculator. It is accessed on the TI by pressing second LN, and on the Casio, it's accessed by pressing shift LN. So in example two, I ask to find the future value of $890, invested at 21.3% for three years, 240 days, compounded continuously. So because it says compounded continuously, we know we're going to be using the PERT formula. When we use this formula, we're going to put in 890 for P, the decimal equivalent of 21.3% or 0.213 for R, but then we need to figure out what is our time as a fraction of a year. So for three years, 240 days, Please note we're going to use a 365 day year for continuous compounding. I've taken three times the number of days in a year plus 240 days for the total number of days and divided that by 365, the number of days in a year. And the result of what's in parentheses is 1,335 days over the 365 days in a year. Please use this fraction when you're plugging into the formula. Do not use the decimal equivalent because you might not get the right answer every time. So on my calculator, this is basically what I need to get it to say. So I am going to second quit on the TI. Quit is right next to second. Or on the Casio, I'm going to press menu and the number one to go back to a regular calculator function. And I'm going to type 890, second or shift LN to access the e to the exponent power. If your calculator does not open an, a parentheses for you, you will need to do so by pressing the open parentheses above the 8 and then typing 0 0.213 times 1335 divided by 365, close parentheses, enter or execute. And you should get something that looks like this, which is a dollar amount. So we round that to $1,939.68.